So good morning all, and we're out with RB on a test ride, and we're doing this on the Aura 125, it's a Euro 4 version, and over the last few weeks, poor old customer, he's had to have a front tyre and a puncture, and about two weeks ago, come in to us, rear tyre, it's got a puncture. Uh, we would always say with any type of tyre and I always like to wait for a car to turn I don't know if he's got his indicator stuck on so always wait for a car to turn before you make your judgement and pull out quick one there as I said, he's had a couple of tyres, he's been in for a service gave us a call yesterday my aura keeps cutting out Ooh. and the first thing we would ask is a set of basic questions when was the bike last serviced? A couple of weeks ago, okay. When did you last fill up with fuel and where did you fill up? And you filled up at a Texaco, okay, good station. Have you used supermarket fuel in your bike? Supermarket fuel is all right, but some bikes are prone to playing up. Just petrol quality at the moment is really rough, so hence why uh, we tend to use BP Ultimate, I tend to use Shell V Power, but supermarket fuel is okay if you go for the good stuff. but just be aware that supermarket fuel sometimes does cause issues with your bike. Not with every bike, but with some bikes, especially little 50ccs. So we always advise customers, stick to the premium fuel. You pay good money for a bike, get some decent fuel. Check the fuel. Fuel is all okay. Technician went through the bike, and the plug cap had come off. That was why it kept cutting out. Just a little bit loose on the plug cap. So replace the spark plug. Check the cap. All at the moment seems to be okay, and I'm just out to a about three or four miles test ride just to check that this thing isn't cutting out. And I am going to stay local, so it's going to be up and down this dual carriageway a few times. Just give her a little run up and down the dual carriageway. And just see what she does. Obviously, the uh, technician that rode it yesterday reported it got up to 40 and all of a sudden it splattered with the vibrations. Plug cap. And uh, it's not a common thing. You can wait behind, mate. It is going into a single lane. So it has been reported. A few bikes obviously rattle their plug caps loose. And then obviously, you're going to get. Not a decent spark across the HT. You're not getting the full power to the spark, and the, 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 and it cuts out, or you're losing power. So a big thing to do is obviously when you're doing your weekly maintenance or your once a month check, just check your plug cap. Some bikes have been known to rattle them off. Even the big bikes tend to do this, especially. And I know it's a very very prone thing at the moment. very very prone thing on the big bikes especially the Yamahas if you want to own a, a diversion especially the older versions and a few of my friends will all own these they go, yeah yeah if you hit about 7000 rpm if you're doing high revs you can rattle number four plug cap off ah, that's a that's a new one to me so it's not just the little one two fives that rattle their plug caps it's the big ones but all they say if you issues with a plug cap, change the plug cap, get a decent plug cap on it decent NGK or a Bosch one on there super grippy and that will alleviate your problems, but this one's running fine now so I'm going to do one more run down the dual carriageway shift my lane again, back round this roundabout now obviously on this roundabout I tend to go up and down the dual carriageway because the garage is literally at the back of that Tesco building. So, should I need be, get the boys out to pick me up, or I can push it home, push it back to the garage, which is about a five minute push. Morning workout, and we tend to go up that tunnel there, and that is the bottom of the, uh, the garage road. So, everything seems to be okay with this one. 
we're going to do one more turn around down the dual carriageway the other side and then back to the garage so I'm going to do a high speed run next so I've just done 35, just done 40 I'm now doing 45 and the next time we go down the other side I'm going to do 50 so just increasing it by 5 mile an hour each time on the run and pray that the problem has been sorted obviously covered under warranty put a warranty claim in, come in we spent half an hour on it, been through the bike give us some warranty <coughs> and obviously want a new spark plug, want a new plug cap and they will send that out under warranty to us and we've used one of our stock ones thank god always have my little, as I call it, my step toe locker of new and used parts out the back now just moving on to new bikes quickly we have a 5 LXRs in in black and gold I've got the LXSs in, I've got two of those I also have two Michigans two Echoes and six Titans so all the different colours are all in I've got a red Michigan if you're really interested everyone's been after a red one, I have a red one in now Italian green has gone, so the next delivery of Michigan's is November. So we're waiting for everything to come through. Loads and loads of bikes coming out. But if you're interested in one of those, he didn't pay attention, did he? Cornflake packet serial license holder. So loads and loads of bikes in and we've also got lots of used bikes at the moment. If you happen to watch the Daytona ride, that went and we managed to get the engine light out. As someone suggested, just a gummed up Lambda, take it for a run, blam it down the A5 when you do your super sausage, which is what we did and lo and behold we got the engine light out. A very happy customer, he took that on holiday for about 200 miles to go on holiday with his wife and took the bike with him. So he's happy customer another used bike gone out but we do have lots that is Eclipse Motorcycles mk.co.uk links down the bottom and the telephone number 01908 643 603 jump on the website all the bikes are on there looking at a uh, Lexmoto bike lexmoto.co.uk all the new bikes are in there and we are going to be doing another run on the Vogue 500DS, the Lonsin Vogue 500DS. Loads of people said, your first ride, you did the very first ride in the UK. Yes, I did. I'm going to do another one on it. And we're going to take it out and give it a little bit further of a run. I might take it down some country lanes, see what she's like on those tyres. But obviously get that one out and have another run. The Bandit is almost finished. Photo shoot for tomorrow has been delayed due to the fact that the uh, the cleaning team need extra time but it is looking absolutely shiny and spotless at the moment just a few more bits to do so obviously photo shoots delayed to next Tuesday but we will get out on that bandit if you're interested in that bandit that is going to sell like a proverbial hotcake it looks absolutely amazing and then the, uh, the final thing obviously no super sausage run this Sunday, I am having a weekend off because we are building the uh, the bike park at the side of the house, got to have a new gate, new fence, new lean-to built, so that's all going to be done this weekend, so I'm going to be spending my uh, weekend hammering, drilling and screwing, and then uh, the following week, 22nd, we are out with Simon GTR 1400, and Nick and I am going to be doing a Rosper course so um, advanced rider course with Rosper start of it and then that will be going over the next couple of weeks so keep an eye on that when we go out to taking the camera when we are doing that Rosper course and I'm taking the GTR so we're going to have a ride out on the GTR for that one so we're heading back to the garage now nice little test ride We've got six miles on the clock. I'm happy to let this one go now. I'm throwing it over every pothole I can find. Every imperfection in the road. Just see if I can rattle anything loose. But she is all good. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments down the bottom. What do you think of the auras? Have you had issues with your plug caps? 
whether you ride a Lexmodo bike or other bike, or is it preventable maintenance, as we say? Damn cyclists everywhere. Would you like to move over? Thank you. As always, say comments down the bottom. Notifications bell, hit that notifications bell for the next video that's coming up. And of course, don't forget all the bikers to follow. Check them all out in my description underneath. That's got all the bikers in there that we follow. And uh, catch up with all the boys. Military biker, Diesel Logs Vlogs, Jim Diesel. Bikes, Beards and Brews. Western Supermoto, Carl Dutz, loads to mention. Burning gas, hauling gas, tins on tour. But all those bikers are all listed. There's some really good videos on YouTube at the moment. The guys are all out riding. Some of them are off camping. All the motor rev community are all off camping. And having an amazing time. Basic bikers. I say a vlogger, Lockwood, Zedhead. They've all had an amazing uh, time. Go and check out some of their pages. Because Lockwood's done some really good videos over the last couple of weeks. And until the next time, I'm back out with RB on a ride test. And all these are all customer bikes ready to go at the moment. We've got loads. We've got another workshop full next door. Till the next time, be well, ride safe, and it's a big goodbye from me.